How's it going? My name is Dakota Roche. Uh, you guys on Vital voted for 360 downstairs for a trick that I'm going to teach you. And uh, we're at my old high school in Huntington. Um, I'm with Corey and Nathan. We're just going to show you how to get these things done. First off, you're going to want to have threes on flat ground on lock, like at pretty much, you know what I mean, just have them almost every try. After that, of course, you'd want to be able to do them down a curb, which is, you know, just like a one stair. When it comes to threeing off a curb, to start off, you need to be going fast enough to clear the curb, of course, just so you don't land on it. Um, you know, after the curb, um, work your way up, you know what I mean, maybe a two or three stair. Uh, good to start off on. We're doing a four, a little bit bigger, a little bit more time, but you know, general idea, still the same. Something with a good run up and a good landing, wide enough to where if you spin a little off access, you're not going to run into a wall or anything. You're going to want to go a little bit faster than you would just to straight jump it. Just ensure, like, ensure yourself that you're going to clear the stairs. You know, um, you don't want to land in them. That's never fun. Like the bigger the set of stairs, the slower you're going to want to rotate because if you spin the same speed you would on flat ground as down a four stair, then you're probably going to over rotate. If you know how to do them on flat ground, you'll you'll know to actually bunny hop off the stairs and not just ride off. You know, the higher you pop it, the easier the rotation because you have more time. Most important part of three and down stairs is the speed of your rotation and the speed of your approach. Of course, the bigger the set of stairs, the faster you're going to want to go, but the slower you're going to want to rotate because you have more time. It's a higher drop. It's a further distance. By starting on a smaller set of stairs, you could figure that out a lot more easy than if you were to go straight to like a 10 stair or something. Um, you know, like I said, start on like a two stair, two to four stair, um, that way. If you do under or overestimate your speed or rotation, um, it's not going to be as bad of a crash. If at any time it kind of feels like you're going to under rotate in your spin, drop your back wheel and you can pivot out to kind of save yourself just so you don't land 270 on two tires. It's, it's going to make you tumble, fall over. If you're going to over rotate, there's not really much you could do. You kind of have to go down <laughs> the ship on that one. But that's the main reason why it's important to start small and work your way up so you, you figure out that rotation. On anything that's like a four stair or smaller, it's okay to land two tires. Um, there's really not enough impact off a of four stair to really like mess you up, but the bigger the set, the more back tire you're going to want to land. Um, for instance, like a ten stair, you don't really want to land two tires on that or front wheel at all because um, just like definitely jam your, your wrists really easy, hands blow off a lot easier, that way feet blow off a lot easier. So the more back tire, the less impact you're going to feel in your upper body. Um, the more you three stairs, you know, the more comfortable you get and the higher you pop, the more you can lift your bike in, in and like kind of just hold that tuck. The more you pop, the easier it is to get your bike sucked in and like just get like a nice tuck out of it. and. Um, of course, that's going to make it look better than if you're just riding off the stairs and really just keeping your front end up the whole time. That's uh, not the that's not the way to three. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope this how-to helps with your threes downstairs. Um, thanks for voting and thanks for watching. Take care.